Here's how to use inline icons in Component Studio 2. Uh, first, you'll go up to your image manager and you will uh, create an icons folder and upload some icons because obviously you need an icon if you're going to use them inline. Uh, then, anything that you would like to use inline, you will click this little uh, button here so that it turns green. This, this tells the system that you want to use it as an inline icon. Uh, once you've done that, you can close out of the image manager and add some add a text area that you want to uh, do some work in. And once you're in there, go into the text field and click the three little dots. And uh, let's just replace this text here. We're going to make that blank. And we're going to use this icons drop down right here. And this shows us the icons that we have in the system. So maybe we want to use this chewed skull. And so we can just, th that'll copy it into our clipboard and we can just paste it uh, in and now you can see that it's over here um, and if I wanted to have three of them in a row I could just paste three of them in a row or if I wanted some other icon I could do that as well. Uh, we can also use styles uh, to make it bigger so for example I have this h1 style here uh, which makes the font bigger so I could just type in h1 and wrap it around that and now we've just made the icons bigger so you can actually format the icons uh, this way as well. So that's how you use inline icons or inline images in Component Studio 2.